first graders, today I'm going to be showing you an experiment. So I have some fishing wire, clear fishing wire, a balloon, straws, a binder clip, and safety first, so I have my goggles, but I don't really need these for this, but I think I look cool. All right, so I'm going to use these two chairs to tie this fishing line tightly. So be right back. Hey, first grade. So I tied my fishing line to the backs of each of these chairs. But before I tied it, I put the straw on so that I could tape the balloon to the straw. And I blew the balloon up. And now, because of gravity, the balloon keeps falling down even though I want it to stay like this. Gravity is making it fall. So I want you to think about the direction that the, move is, the balloon is moving. And I want you to think about what happens to the air in the balloon. I'm gonna let it go. So we're doing an experiment to see how the balloon moves and the relationship between the air and the balloon. So let's see what happens. Ready, set, to get accurate data, they have to do their experiments over and over to make sure that they're getting the same results every time. That's the only way to make sure that your data is accurate, to keep testing your experiment. So I'm going to try it again, and this time we're going to count down from 10 like a real rocket launch. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, ready, and launch! Woo! Okay, so as you probably noticed, when I let the air out of the balloon, the balloon moved in the opposite direction of the air. So if you watch closely, the balloon moves this way and the air moves this way, which is opposite directions. Ready? Slow motion. <laughs> 